Hey guys, welcome back to um, another Max Force construction update. Um, first off, I'm sorry if my voice sounds completely awful. I actually was at the park all day yesterday and I was sick for a week before that. So my voice is pretty tired and I actually lost my voice yesterday. So the fact that I'm even saying this is a pretty huge miracle. First thing I want to talk about with Max Force is how absolutely huge it is. You can see it from everywhere in the park and I especially know just when I was riding Raging Bull, um, the first turnaround after the drop, you're right next to the structure of Max Force, and it's higher than you on the turnaround of Raging Bull, which is a 208 foot tall monster. And this coat, Max Force is slated to be 175 feet tall, but you hear that number and you're like, oh, that's 175 feet tall, cool. But when you actually put it right next to Raging Bull and you see that it's taller than the second highest part of the ride, it's pretty mind-blowing. You can see it from everywhere in the park. It sticks out in a good way. It's a very clean looking coaster and paint scheme and of course there are, it's actually proving to be very photogenic especially with Raging Bull. I'll put up a couple pictures that I took uh, right now but it the dueling aspect with Raging Bull and then ma maybe Max Force Trains will make this even cooler. It's in such a great spot. Um, obviously since the last time we've had a construction update, they have made a lot more uh, progress on the supports on the track. Last time we saw it, the double tower, double inversion thing um, was just supports, and now they have the whole supports are up, and they have all the track. And actually, if you look at the track, it's very interesting, because if you look at the very tip of the double inversion, there's actually three sets of drive tires. Um, these are in case of a rollback, or it's about to stall, and if, like if it were to stall, they, the drive tires could push it over. The two other SNS coasters that I know have it are Dododompa, it has it at the top of the loop to help push it over, and then also on El Loco, um, on one of the dive loops, there's a pair of drive tires. This is just seems to be an SNS thing, and it'll help reduce the chances of rollback. So if you get a rollback on Max Force, then it's even more rare. Work on the launch track seems to be progressing pretty quickly. They have a lot of concrete in the ground. They have the air tubes that we saw in a past construction update. Those are um, encased and look to be set up. The actual launch track seems to be all in place. The cable for the launch system seems to be in there because there is a launch dog already on the track. Uh, however, there has been no work done on the station yet. There's a foundation, but it hasn't gone vertical yet. Uh, so there's still plenty of work to be done. And then there's also track right after the uh, double inversion. They still need to work on the other two inversions that haven't been haven't even gone vertically yet. However, there are supports. There are parts of supports for it, and there aren't many supports or track left in the parking lot. So, track word I'd say is about 60% completed. So, maybe we can still hope for a Memorial Day opening. I don't know at this point. Like, there's a month. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to do all of that in a month, but crazier things have happened, I guess. I know, um, Goliath was actually topped off in on like May 20th um, and it opened to the public in June on June 6th or something like that. So it was a very fast turnaround once they finally completed all the tra track work. One thing that is cool that we haven't had in a while, um, the Skytrack Tower has been closed since about September of last year and it reopened for the first time today. Um, it was a very windy day yesterday, so it wasn't open for very long. So, me personally, I wasn't able to um, actually get up there. But one of my friends, Matt, you can check out his Instagram, link in the description. He got up there, he, he was able to take some nice overview pictures. You can see on these pictures that um, there's work being done on the exit gift shop and the entrance and basically every single place. Um, you can see that they still haven't put the track pieces in. Um, for the transfer track, uh, but that's for Six Flags actually does a thing where they, um, where Diamond Elite pass holders can come and sign the piece of a transfer track, um, and they're actually doing that next Sunday, uh, which would be April 29th for people watching this later in the future. I know they actually did this with uh, King Ka when it opened, so that's kind of what it'll look like. 
Going back to the ground, uh, they were actually working on adding ladders to the side of the double inversion today. Uh, you could, we saw them behind Raging Bull um, actually pulling the ladders out of shipping containers and then also installing them on the second leg or the second inversion of the ride. Now if we head over to the front entrance in the gift shop, it looks like I'm guessing they're probably not even going to change the facade for the pictorium. They'll just put a sign over <laughs> where, over the archway that used to hold the pictorium sign, which, I mean, reduce, reuse, recycle, right? It's cheaper. Um, and actually, if we peek inside the gift shop, you can see that it's totally empty, um, except for a couple, like, coat hangers or something. Um, there, it does look like that there's a door in the back and they're still working on stuff. The last important thing that needs to be built um, is actually the bridge going over the launch and under the zero-g roll for the train, which hasn't been started at all. There's a couple footers in the ground, but they still need to build that bridge and that seems to be a, like a little bit of a problem because they need the train to go through. Work still needs to start on that, so they still have a fair bit of work to get done, but hey, in these past two months they've done a lot of work and hopefully they'll be done by Memorial Day and we can get some testing footage. Other than that, uh, opening day had its own fair share of issues. I actually did a vlog on it, which will be up after this video, which if you want to go check that out on Amusement Outsiders, whenever I get around to posting that. Um, it was really windy, but we got a lot of good um, Max Force updates, and it looks like construction is progressing nicely. Nothing really seemed, it seemed like they were getting a lot of work done and that they're they're on track to finish this coaster, hopefully by Memorial Day, um, which would be great. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, share, or don't, I'm not your boss. You have a free will. Okay, bye.